Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the MSI GeForce GTX 660 Ti Power Edition video card. And the GTX 660 Ti is actually based on the GK104 core, similar to the GTX 680 and the GTX 670. The difference is, of course, it has a, a smaller bus width. But the specs are essentially the same as the 670. It has 1,244 CUDA cores. And uh, the Power Edition from MSI supports a triple over voltage and an enhanced PWM design. Uh, in case you're not familiar with triple over voltage feature, uh, it essentially allows users to overclock your uh, video card with additional voltage for the core, the memory, and the PLL, which is the uh, controlling the PCIe power. So you can provide additional powers and then push your video card to a further uh, core clock than you would normally have with a stock. Now uh, this one, uh, this Power Edition video card, as you can see, comes with a twin frozer heatsink and there's two 80 millimeter fans. We're going to take a look at that cooling solution once we've opened up the video card itself. And here on the side, you can see that there is a rigid metal rod that extends to it. This is actually part of the heatsink that is on top of the PCB and cooling the components. Here on the left side, you can see two SLI fingers for up to triple SLI. You can probably do quad SLI as well. It's supported now actually with uh, the latest NVIDIA drivers. And uh, MSI ships these with protective covers, as you can see there. And here, you only have two six pin power on the left side. So it consumes a lot less power than a 670 or a 680. In fact, uh, MSI recommends a 450 watt power supply with at least 24 amps on the 12 volt rail, which is significantly less than you would expect for a card uh, that can perform like this card. In the front end, you can see that it is open. Heat can extend there and there is a PWM fan connection for the twin 80 centi rather 80 millimeter fan. Here you have the PCIe 3.0 connector. Also a protective cover for it. And you can see a glimpse of the thick heat pipe that's extending from the GK104 core. And here at the back, there are connections for your display port, HDMI, and a pair of DVI ports. Of course, one is DVI-D and one is DVI-I, dual link connectors. And the card itself measures 25 centimeters in length from tip to tip. So it should fit most cases, uh, most standard ETX cases, if you're worried about clearance issues. It is actually, uh, I believe the reference PCB is shorter because they have a different cooling solution where it basically cuts off the uh, the card right there and then there's a cooling solution on the other end and the blower style fan. But of course the MSI Twin Frozer has these twin fans which are much more efficient than a single blower fan that blows out your rear. This actually blows uh, the hot air all inside your case. But of course if you have a good airflow inside your system that shouldn't be a problem. Also, uh, the MSI Power Edition uh, video card with a twin Frozer 4 thermal design actually has something called a dust protective uh, technology, which it spin the, the fans it spin up backwards when you boot it up for the uh, for a few seconds, so that it will eliminate the dust that's held in there while the card is in dormant and uh, position and not been turned on for a while. It'll prevent dust buildup overall and will uh, enhance the lifetime of your card and like with MSI uh, motherboards, the MSI Power Edition G4 GTX 660 Ti is equipped with military class 3 technology. And we are going to take a look at that when we remove the heatsink, which actually I am going to do now. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at the accessories that come with this package. Inside the accessory package, you will find a pair of cables. And these are actually uh, converters for the six pin connector from a pair of Molex connectors. Also get this adapter for your VGA. 
connects to the uh, DVI on the other end. You get your CD drivers and also contains the MSI Afterburner utility which allows you to monitor uh, and overclock your GeForce GTX 660 Ti video card. Also a quick user's guide which is a universal user's guide that is in place in all MSI video cards. It comes in multiple languages. Now let's take a look at the GeForce GTX 660 Ti for MSI itself starting with the cooling solution and then let's move on to the PCB itself. And this is what the cooling solution looks like underneath the twin Frozer 4. As you can see there are four flattened heat pipes and a uh, nickel plated copper block in the middle that's cooling the GPU core itself and also a an array of aluminum fins. They are actually a lot lighter than uh, compared to other cooling solutions and they're also thinner as you can see there so you can have the twin frozer, frozer 4 with only two slots uh, unlike the triple slot solutions of other higher end cards also as you can see in here uh, the twin 80 cent rather 80 millimeter fans or 80 80 millimeter or 8 centimeter fans uh, they are a lot lower profile than you would uh, see in other cooling solutions and the propeller design is a custom solution by MSI designed to provide a lot more airflow for a small space and the PWM connector is right on the other end let's move on to the PCB itself and it actually comes with a form in one heatsink over the components as you can see and the core itself is right in the middle but underneath that we will have to remove this uh, heat sink of the component so we can take a closer look. Alright we have removed the Formula 1 heat sink and this is actually what it looks like underneath that. There are these thermal tape all across the critical components to cool it and here you have Super, the uh, super ferrite chokes. You have uh, 5 plus 2 design, which is superior to the uh, 4 phase VWM of the uh, regular GTX 660 Ti. Of course, for overclocking, you need a, a more efficient power delivery. And also, you have, uh, compared to traditional chokes, the super ferrite choke actually has better uh, stability, can provide up to 130% uh, current and of course better efficiency also to the uh, superior Japanese capacitors and the high C caps with tantalum cores are underneath again for better efficiency better power delivery and mm -hmm. since it has a military class technology it can survive a lot more punishment especially when you're overclocking uh, military standard of course uh, that is military US military standard that they use for uh, space programs and all other uh, government programs that require rigorous testing procedures. And that pretty much covers the uh, GTX 660 Ti Power Edition from MSI. I'm going to put back this video card together again and let's go on with testing how much better the uh, GTX 660 Ti performs compared to its competitors. Also compared with a 670, just how far uh, the performance difference is between a 256-bit GTX 670 and a 192-bit uh, GTX 660 Ti. Of course, we are going to also overclock this MSI video card. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time. And you can read the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com. And also, you can see the video showing the fan noise from this card, also overclocking. Uh, with the MSI Afterburner Utility, click to hightechlegion.com and also at youtube.com slash hightechlegion to see that video. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.